So um, go ahead and repeat after me, just copycat style. <laughs> Yeah, and always strive for that consistent tongue so that it's very crisp at the beginning. Um, so what were the rhythms that we played right there? Um, whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note. Very good, cool. And uh, if I played this... Sixteenth note? Sixteenth note. Why don't you go ahead and play that with me? Ready. Yeah! Your sixteenth note tongue was actually better than your eighth note tongue, so that was very good. Um, do you remember how in band class we count sixteenth notes? Oh, one and the other, two and yeah, one exactly. E and a. Yeah, one e and a, and then two and, e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Exactly. Cool. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? What about um, if I play this? I'll play this first, and then you play it. Yeah. So what was on the third beat there? Arrest. Arrest. And what kind of arrest do you think it was? Eighth arrest. It's a good, it's a good guess. Quarter rest, because my foot tapped the whole time. There wasn't any, like, half note, or, or eighth note in there. Exactly. Cool. Well, let's look at our rhythm flashcards now. Um, can you clap and count this rhythm for me? Yeah, let's slow it down a little bit for you. How about nine, two, Three, four. Very good. Cool. What about this one? Yeah, I really like how you're subdividing and um, you're saying two e and a on the rest so that you make sure that everything is consistent with the tempo. That was very nice. Do it one more time for me. <laughs> Go ahead. Very good. Cool. Um, okay, I'm going to turn these around for a second. We're going to do another call and response. And this is related to 16th notes again. So continue to think about 16th notes as we go on. Uh, after. 
Yeah, the back half of the beat or whatever, exactly. Um, and again, what type of rhythm were those? The rest was one A and then the notes were and up. Mm -hmm. So were they 16th. 16th notes, very good. And we still had that eighth note rest on the front half of the beat. So now let's look at this. Yeah. So this is what we played at first. And I want you to clap and count this for me. This is the first thing that we played. Awesome. And I really like, I tried to trip her up a little bit by um, putting two 16th note rests on beats two and four, and then putting eighth note rests on beats one and three. What did that face, Laura? No. It's very good. All right, go ahead and try the second half. Awesome. That's so great. Um, very good. All right, go ahead and clap and count this one for me. We're adding a little bit something different in here. One and a two and a one. <laughs> How about we slow it down a little bit? And remember, subdivide the whole 16th note. So, one E and a, two E and a, like that. Does that sound good? One E and a, two E and a. No. That's okay. Let's just isolate this third beat here. What types of notes do we have here? 16th and then 8th note. Exactly. And so, how would you count this part? Um. Uh, does it, which, which beat does this start on? This is one, three, two, three. so three E, and then this is going to be your and, 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 yeah. And what about beat four? It's the opposite. One, one E, and, and. Exactly. So let's just play beats three and four here. Or sing, or clap. There we go. <laughs> one, and, two E, and, uh, three E, and, four, and, uh. Let's do it again. Ready, go, E and a, three, E and four, and a. we'll slow it even down, no problem. One, E and a, two, E and a, three, E and a, four, E and a. There you go, we'll speed it up a little bit. One, E and a, two, E and a, three, E and four, E and a. There you go. Can you go ahead and say it out loud with me? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, E and a, two, E and a, three, E and four, E and a. Yeah? Alright, go ahead and clap and count it just by yourself. Yeah! Go ahead and put the whole thing together. We'll slow, We'll do it slow. One E and a two E and a four. There you go. You were... You played on the E instead of four. Yeah. Do it one more time though. Everything else was great. Yeah, good job. Cool. And on Monday, you did this really cool thing for me. You didn't know about how to call 16th notes that were on the back part of the beat, but you showed it to me in your music. Would you show me again where that is? It's in Canto. Yeah, exactly. So we're playing the back part of the beat, and then we're going, yeah. And we just played, or we just clapped and counted that rhythm um, in our rhythm flashcards right here, where yeah. it's the eighth note tied to the sixteenth note. So let's just look at this first measure here, and we'll clap and count it. You can forget about the tie for right now, okay? So you can clap and count the tie. So one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a yeah. Can you put the tie in? You think that's cool? Sure. All right. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a yeah. And one more time, just by yourself. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E. Yeah, and one more time, just the, that, 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 there's that steady tempo. One E and a, two E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. <laughs> Do it one more time, you're doing great. One E and a, two E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. There we 
go. Cool. So now you understand how all of your rhythms relate, um, especially those weird 16th notes that before, um, you know, it's a little bit weird to say, oh yeah, these two are 16th notes, even though they don't take up the entire beat. Um, but you, now you understand that and that's all good? Mm -hmm. Cool. Awesome.